Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss atomic mass. In last video, we have discussed how to represent any element. That means the atom, the element symbol. Symbols of the element from their Latin names and modern names. Now we are going to discuss atomic mass and then the atomic number. So let's start with the animation. Mass. Scientists initially took the mass of oxygen as standard mass since oxygen formed a large number of compounds. In 1961, carbon-12 isotope was chosen as the standard reference for measuring atomic masses. So for all atomic masses, for every element, the carbon is chosen the standard one, right? So every atom mass, atomic mass, can be standardized with carbon-12 atom, okay? The relative atomic masses of all elements have been found with respect to an atom of carbon-12. Carbon-12 means carbon-12. For example, in a bakery, if a cake is cut into 12 equal pieces, he is able to find the mass of each confectionery item relative to the mass of a single piece of cake. Now, he sells the confectionery by relative confectionery mass unit. Similarly, the relative atomic mass of the atom of an element is defined as the average mass of the atom as compared to 1 12th the mass of 1 C12 atom. Matter is made of atoms. But how do these atoms exist? These atoms exist in a combined state called molecules. Thus, a molecule is the smallest particle of an element or compound that can exist independently and show all the properties of that substance. One more thing you have to learn here. No atom exists independent. No atom exists single independent. Atoms are in the form of molecule with the same atom or with the combined state of other atom of the different element. Okay. So here any matter you see if you see if you uh, call oxygen right to so oxygen it's not only O it's always O2 that means oxygen is existing in the O double bond O state that means no single oxygen is existing it is always in the bonded form with other atom of the same or the different element of the atom right right next point is some elements like sodium potassium except condition noble gases exist independent that means helium Neon, Argon, Krypton, Xenon and Radon, these are independent noble gases, they, these do not, these are already in stable state, these don't have to react any other atom of any element, right? So these are independent of any other element. And Helium exist as single atoms. Here, sodium, and potassium, others helium. like hydrogen, oxygen, etc. exist in a combined state. Atoms combine to form molecules. The molecules of an element are constituted by the same type of atoms. For example, elements like hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus have more than one atom in a molecule. This number is specific for an element and is known as its atomicity. Atomicity? Thus the number of atoms constituting a molecule is referred to as atomicity. If I say, what is the atomicity of oxygen gas? You will say two atoms. Two atoms of oxygen, right? You can see here, two atoms of oxygen. What is the atomicity of hydrogen gas? Two hydrogen atoms, means two. What is the atomicity of phosphorus? Phosphorus is existing here, P4 state, means P4 molecule. So, means four atomicity of the phosphorus. Okay, next point is? Let us look at some examples. An oxygen molecule has two atoms of oxygen and is known as a diatomic molecule. Hydrogen, chlorine, nitrogen, etc. also exist as diatomic molecules. Diatom? Diatomics. Elements like phosphorus and sulfur have more than two atoms in a molecule. So phosphorus, P4 and sulfur, S8. Phosphorus or sulfur single या double ना exist होके P4 यानि कि चार phosphorus एक साथ exist होते हैं और sulfur भी 8 के हिसाब से exist होते हैं 
राइट तो सल्फर का पूरा मॉलिक्यूल आपको मिलता है और ये फॉस्फोरस का मिलता है सिंगल नहीं मिलता है किसी न किसी कंबाइन फॉर्म में मिलेगा वो पॉलिटोमिक पॉलिटोमिक्स कहेंगे फॉस्फोरस मॉलिक्यूल हैज फोर एटम्स ऑफ फॉस्फोरस P4 एंड अ सल्फर मॉलिक्यूल हैज एट एटम्स एंड इज ऑक्टा एटॉमिक S8 So far we've discussed so, what is the atomicity of sulfur you will say 8 what is the atomicity of phosphorus you will say 4 both the molecules of elements elements combine to form compounds thus a molecule of a compound has two or more elements for example common salt is a compound of sodium and chlorine where sodium is a positively charged particle and chlorine a negatively charged particle and each of this is called an ion thus a charged particle is called an ion the positively charged particle is called cation on the other hand the negatively charged particle is referred to as anion we know that atoms of an element combine to form a compound Every atom has a specific combining capacity. This combining capacity of an element is known as valency. For example, what does it mean? That means chlorine can combine with one atom, nitrogen can combine with three. That means these are the bonds, right? One bond, three bond, nitrogen with three bond, magnesium forms two bonds. Means ionic bond depends whether it is a metal or non-metal. right and these are the valency the valency whatever the valency there will be this that that kind of bond example consider a water molecule it has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen this shows that the combining capacity of oxygen is 2 and takes two hydrogen atoms similarly sodium monoxide has two atoms of sodium and one atom of oxygen thus the combining capacity of sodium is 1 and oxygen is 2 correct here the compound is formed by two different elements and such compounds are called binary compounds and how that so look at the example see oxygen needs two electron to compensate the stability or oxygen needs two electron to get stable and by getting two electrons it gains electrons so as to stabilize that means the out, outermost shell becomes eight electron how is that so oxygen having minus two charges and how is that so oxygen the atomic number is eight you just configure the electronic yeah electronic configuration aap kare 2 comma 6 so as to get stable every atom wants the outermost this is the outermost shell this is the inner shell that means this is the center of oxygen i'm just drawing in uh, an atom this is the center of oxygen this is the nucleus first cell second cell so for atom the inner shell contains two electron outer shell contains six electron but so as to get stable it needs two more to become eight and two more means it needs two electron that is why oxygen needs two electron that means configuration is 2 comma 6 it if it gets two electron from other atom it will make bonds and how is that so so one oxygen makes two bonds individual hydrogen hydrogen gets one electron hydrogen gets one electron and this is oxygen gets two electron from individual hydrogen यहाँ पर देखो हाइड्रोजन भी स्टेबल हो जाएगा और ऑक्सीजन भी स्टेबल हो जाएगा क्योंकि ऑक्सीजन को दो इलेक्ट्रॉन मिल गए तो इसको क्या मिलेंगे माइनस टू हाइड्रोजन को एक इलेक्ट्रॉन चाहिए था वो हो गया प्लस क्योंकि उसने इलेक्ट्रॉन शेयरिंग करी है अगर चार्जेस की बात करें तो यहाँ भी हो जाएगा हम बैलेंस भी बना सकते हैं इसका देखो ऑक्सीजन पर माइनस चार्ज लगा सकते हो और हाइड्रोजन पर प्लस चार्ज लगा सकते हो यहाँ पर इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट है हम प्लस माइनस को दिखा कर भी बता सकते हैं तो यहाँ पर कोई भी मॉलिकूल हम ले लेंगे सपोज करो सोडियम क्लोराइड के लिए एन प्लस होता है सी माइनस हो जाता है अगर मेटल लगा है तो मेटल डेफिनेटली प्लस होगा और जो भी अगल बगल लगा हो वो नॉन मेटल होगा या फिर कोई मेटल होगा जो कि कम इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी वाला होगा या ज़्यादा इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी वाला होगा मेटल्स को भी हम बता सकते हैं इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव है दैट इज डिपेंड अपॉन द क्राइटीरिया 
इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी अगर आप पीरियोडिक टेबल को देखेंगे जो कि आपका क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स देखते हैं तो पीरियोडिक टेबल में डाउन द ग्रुप जाने पर डाउन द ग्रुप जाने पर याद रखेंगे डाउन द ग्रुप जाने पर इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिविटी इंक्रीज होती है मतलब इलेक्ट्रॉन को लूज करने की पावर इंक्रीज होती है करेक्ट और लेफ्ट टू राइट पीरियोडिक टेबल में जाएंगे तो इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिविटी इंक्रीज होती है और एकदम फाइनली बिल्कुल एटीन ग्रुप में पहुंच जाएंगे तो इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी या इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिविटी जीरो हो जाती है यानी वो नॉबल करेक्टर आ जाते हैं ठीक है तो हमारा नेक्स्ट टॉपिक होगा इसी में कंपाउंड्स कैसे बने और वैलेंसीज क्या होंगे